This lesson deals with supplemental problem 2.1. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter two supplemental problems on page one. Let's consider modeling an incandescent bulb, in particular a number 3357 lamp. These were used in Fords in the 1990s. It actually has two filaments. One is used for the parking and tail light, and the other filament is used for braking and turn signal. The resistance of this lamp changes with the voltage across it, as we'll see with some data below. But in a small voltage range, we could approximate this as a constant resistance. Let's take a look at some of the data here. When I apply 10 volts to the top element, this is for the parking and tail light, drew about a half an amp. And as I increased it to 11 volts, it was 0.53 amps, 12 volts, 0.55, 13.58, and for 14.6. This doesn't fall on a straight line through the origin. In ECE 302, we'll talk about an idea called AC resistance and DC resistance. For right now, I'm just going to take this data and do an approximation. Now for the bottom element, this is for the braking and turn signal. Applying the same voltages, I drew 1.91 amps, 2.02, 2.11, 2.19, .2 and 2.28. If we take the ratio of the voltage to the current, we'll get the resistance at a point. And for the data that I had here, 20 ohms, 20.75, 21.82, 22.41, 23.33. But if you're operating at a specific voltage, then you could approximate the behavior of that light bulb as a fixed resistance. And again, I'll explain more about this in ECE 302. Now for the second filament, for the same voltages, I had a different current and the resistance you can see is quite less, 5.24, 5.45, 5.69, 5.94, and 6.14. This is supplemental problem 2.1.